Every second, we get a little bit stronger. And if you look closely, a little bit bigger. So eventually, we'll be the size of a large house and be able to smash mountains into bits. And we used to be that size. So we've already gained quite a bit of strength. Now, what we do with it is smash through these walls. Our size and strength makes a difference for how far we can get. Wood walls are no problem at all. Wood walls with some color on them, also no problem. The last wall took two hits and now we have a trophy. Uh, we're also back to baby size. But that victory actually gave us five trophies so we can upgrade things like strength per second and base strength. I think for now I'll do strength per second. So instead of getting one per second, we're now getting two. Or at least we're supposed to be. I'm also hoping to get something better than a wooden hammer. That guy back there is something better. Uh, and it looks like to go this way, I'm going to need the better hammer anyway. So it's time to start saving. I need to find out how much strength I need to get to the end of this quickly. Like we'll get through this, but not very quickly yet because we're just not doing enough damage. These walls in particular do a lot. We're up to 108 strength though, so we'll be all right. The last wall did take three hits, but I did get another five trophies. So that means I can buy some attack speed and some base strength. After 20 upgrades, we get the next hammer. So now I just hang out and look at what's to come. And maybe go explore over here a little bit. And turns out you can actually break some of this stuff. It just takes a long time to do so. At least right now. Maybe later when I'm huge and powerful, I'll be able to destroy everything you see. Alright, 150 strength is more than enough to power through this fairly quickly. Our base strength upgrade might also help us break these walls faster. Because so far, they're going quick. And the extra attack speed is actually really, really nice. So this one should only take two hits. Look at the gold man. Then we get another five trophies. We're definitely going to buy more strength per second. That's going to be where all of our value comes from. And the best part of this one is I can just AFK it. So he'll just automatically run and smash walls slowly. I feel so tiny compared to these walls. But I try real hard and that's all that matters. I think I can actually afford a critical hit chance upgrade. So if I can occasionally hit these even faster, I'll just get through this quicker. I want to be so big the whole game breaks. Can we arrange that? I've got time if you do. One wall break later, I'm going to take more attack speed. That's also going to help break the walls considerably quicker. Like obviously our attack speed isn't blazing fast yet, but I definitely notice where it was and where it's been. Look at that trophy over there. I bet it's worth so much. But we made it to the end one more time, so let's take more base strength. Then while we're at it, I guess more attack speed. Between those two, we should be able to hammer these through even quicker. After grabbing that trophy, we've got 10 to spend. And things are obviously going to get expensive. More strength per second and more attack speed. So after breaking them all that time, we're left with 40 trophies. That means we can get some of the more expensive ones. Strength per second, attack speed, base strength, times 2, times 3, critical hit chance a few more times, and one more to go. Oh, why can't I be big like that guy? I do have 62 base strength, so that should get me through the wall pretty quick, especially with our upgrades. Well, so far the wood still takes two hits, but it is all faster. And with another six trophies, I get critical hit chance, which means I can upgrade once I get another 20 trophies. That's fine, I've got nothing better to do with my time. I maybe went a little crazy AFK destroying wood, but now I have more than enough trophies. So that means I can upgrade my hammer to the super hammer, and that looks much, much better. Oh, it also makes my base strength a lot higher. It's not that high, but I'm already 150. That obviously means upgrades are that much more expensive again, but I've got a 20 head start. So strength per second times one and attack speed times one. I'm already 240 size and I've hardly done anything. Does that mean we can murder a snowman? I would love to murder a snowman. And I wonder what hammers next. Why do we get so small when we go near that thing? Then we blow back up to regular size. All right, well, let's see if we can destroy some walls. There's a stony wall. These are also one hit, but our strength is already over 300. This one's not one hit though. And there's a dark stony wall, which probably takes, well, two hits at our current strength. So it's going to take a little while, but I bet these trophies are worth a lot more. Uh, strength per second is really going to have to get up there. So 17 trophies. Uh, okay, we're stuck. Can I have the trophy? Um, we seem to have encountered a small error because I'm not supposed to be stuck here. Did I already get rewarded? I guess we have 17 trophies. I might have already got rewarded. Now I'm stuck. Nothing a quick little restart won't fix. So back to work for you. Uh, more strength per second while we're waiting. 18. It's going to cost like a thousand to upgrade these things, but I've got time if you do. Some wall smashing later. Let's do strength upgrade again and attack speed. It still takes a little while to break down these walls, but I've still got some time. 31 trophies after that. Now we can get some critical hit chance and let's take some more attack speed we smashed that wall in one hit so that was a good sign just need some critical hits and we'll be there in no time but look how small we are currently if we zoom out we can't even see ourselves and we still gotta get through all of those all of those and all of those oh look i think i found a shortcut four thousand dollars later and i'm moving much quicker yeah my attack speed is actually kind of getting ridiculous and my strength per second is also going up by six instead of two now i regret nothing 
my wallet might but i don't that's a little quicker but look at this you can buy base strength potion you can do your starting strength i don't need to do anything i'm plenty strong and from now on i'm gonna run primarily on patience speaking of which it's time for an upgrade so we're gonna take more strength per second and then also base strength is important look at him go stronger every round 63 trophies let's take strength per second even though strength per second never seems to change so i don't really know what it's talking about I guess we are up to 8 strength per second now. Something's still very confusing there to me, but I'm kind of stupid, so that kind of makes sense. We have 3, 4, 8 more upgrades to go before we get the next hammer. But look how big we are by the end of the wall now. We're almost as big as the entire wall. 430 strength. And we'll add some critical hit chance. We just smashed those first few walls, and <laughs> even those ones now, we're just smashing through all of these. So I'm pretty sure base strength is like after you reset, how much you're left with to start over with again. So we'll find out after we're done collecting these trophies, we just gotta smash two more walls. Okay, so after that we went to 500, okay, we just carried our base strength over for some reason. Not sure that's supposed to happen, but I'll take it, because we're just gonna obliterate each and every one of these walls without stopping. I think the last one takes 600 strength, but we're definitely past that now. Oh, apparently it's over 600. 500 strength okay so we're just have 500 base strength but if we spend 27 dollars on that again we start at 600 instead so every time we upgrade one of those we upgrade our base strength by 100 which means we just hulk smash our way through the walls without mercy and this is very satisfying we have 700 strength currently i just wanted to see what kind of damage we do to a house uh it's a little bit hard to see its health bar but it is going down but obviously we're not a destroyer of houses yet okay we're up to 66 trophies so i'll get maxed out attack speed critical hit chance one more win which should be soon at the rate we're going our attack speed is getting kind of ridiculous there we go, critical hit chance max. Now we need 60. And again, at the rate we're going, 60 won't take long at all. We gotta do this five times. I actually went past it without even noticing. So, upgrade to a new hammer. That puts us at level 3. We currently have 800 strength and a new hammer looks like Lego. But I'm not complaining one little bit. 930 strength to go. How do we feel against these walls? We can smash that one and that one and that one, that one. The cookies and cream walls have no chance, though these ones are getting a little harder. And these are all expensive. These are starting out at 22, but it's going to depend on what the trophy gives us. From 20 to 65, so it's giving us 45 each and every time. We're definitely doing base strength now, times two. The more strength we can start out at, the quicker we'll get going. We already have double the rate of strength per second. And we're getting eight per second anyway, so this will be fine. So this time we finished off at 840. Now we're starting at a thousand thanks to those upgrades so we're definitely smashing some walls uh, let's turn our base strength up again because we're already two hitting these yellow ones which is really annoying i really like his technique of swinging the hammer too because i think only one out of the two swings we actually swing the hammer the other we like punch the wall or something or kick it i can't really tell the animation is obviously too sharp and clear for me to be able to determine anything at all okay next we're going to take more base strength and then we're going to take attack speed the quicker we can punch down these walls the quicker we will get to those ones well we're at it let's take more attack speed and maybe critical hit chance and then i guess we'll do strength per second so now we're going up by nine or ten every second from eight so we'll do that one again and then more critical hit chance i'm not sure if we can even notice when we have critical hits but now we're getting 11 strength per second it's amazing how quickly we save up 100 trophies now so let's get base strength to the max so that means when we restart 1600 now i don't think we just finished with 1600 so we're definitely gonna one shot all of these walls and that's actually we're not one shotting walls all right, well, maybe they have 2,000 HP. I should pay attention more, but I'm not going to. We're going to take more attack speed and strength per second. There's something rhythmically about this that kind of makes me tired. So we're going to spend 122 on strength per second and attack speed. But now we are going up by a massive 14, 15 per second. When we first started, that would have taken 15 seconds to do. And things are only going to get more ridiculous from here. So we're just going to let him do his thing for a little while because we're going to need extra trophies for the end anyway. Do we think 370 is enough to get us there? Maybe not. These are pretty expensive. So strength per second is maxed, attack speed is maxed, and critical chance is maxed. Now we need 180, which isn't actually that many. Especially with all of our newly found max upgrades. Look at how long that one over there is. There's like 400 walls to go through. But after this trophy, we've got enough to do our next upgrade, which gets us a new hammer. And the first thing we need to do with that is smash the house with it. We broke the fence in a hurry. Uh, I can't really see its health bar. There it is. So again, we're hurting it. We see the health bar moving. Still not enough. But we do only have 2300 strength. Which brings us into the desert which is naturally full of water. Then we're going to AFK this to see how fast we go through these walls. The glass walls are no problem but strength per second is pretty high. Oh I just realized you can actually see the health on the walls. Depends on the angle you look at. We're definitely one-shotting a lot of these. I think those might say 3000 health. 
but we also just got 135 trophies which probably means these are going to get expensive so without any upgrades we're killing these walls in two hits at the end that one was almost three we started at 1600 strength so if we upgrade our base strength once or twice then our strength per second that should help so we'll probably be at like 1800 or 2000 to start 2200 to start that's great and we're going up by 18 per second currently so let's fix base strength so we just march through these walls look at that almost 500 trophies to spend well, we're definitely going to do base strength twice more then we're just going to do attack speed can't believe 500 trophies was three upgrades but those will make a difference because we just ended at 2900 we're starting at 3100 now so we're definitely going to smash some walls and look how big we're getting we're probably bigger than the giant sitting over there that means we're the giant and we like smashing stuff we're still not one-shotting all of these walls, only when we critical hit, and that saddens me deeply. So we're going to get two upgrades to strength per second, now we're getting 23 per second. Just broke 1,000 trophies for the first time, that means we're going to get more strength per second, and we're also going to upgrade our attack speed in a big way. And we're getting about 28 strength per second, so that's going to add up nicely. We ended that one with like 3,800. Okay, do we think 1,370 is enough for everything? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... And we need 540, it was enough. And then the game took away our hammer. We don't have a hammer anymore. Never mind, we got a hammer. We just had to get over here to wield it. Okay, I just one shot at a massive tree, so that's a good sign. I like how I just walk up to stuff and automatically smash it. There's a big blue house at the back. I never saw anything because I've never been this big before. 5,000 strength is fun. Where's that house's health bar? Are we destroying it? We've got to be destroying it. We're so quick. We're just going to keep smashing away. We've killed the fence a few times. Hmm. We're clearly going to need more strength to take down these houses properly. Luckily, I know just how to do that. We'll smash a tree and be on our way. I bet these are going to be really, really annoyingly hard to get through, especially because there's a billion of them. But the last wall we kill got two hits and we started at 3100 strength uh we also got like 500 trophies i don't know how many exactly we got but we need more base strength i never noticed these uh walls have uh, flowers or butterflies on them maybe crystals so we're ending this one at 4400 strength we're starting this at 3900 so we'll add more base strength to that so now we start at 4300 and i definitely want more strength per second would have been nice to get two of those but we're still doing pretty well. Then let's add more strength per second. Each one of those has got to make a difference. 35 per second. And now we have 1500 to spend on upgrades. So let's get some much needed attack speed. Then I'm going to do base strength one more time. So the top level upgrades are 612 each. I decided I also wanted to spend a little time seeing how big you would get. So, um, well, I just straight up bought 28,500 of those. Just so we could uh, get these upgrades going a little bit quicker. So for that, we need to buy trophies. And then these are really expensive. But we did get a spare. 3600 trophies to spend so we can get our base strength per second up quite a bit and our base strength and then our attack speed that's going to give us a little more time to uh, build up our strength so now we're starting out of 5200 strength which is a little bit better and then we're going to get some critical hit chance so we only need a couple thousand more to finish and we get to figure out probably not what's next because we have the max level hammer already and after breaking this final wall in two hits that should be enough to get us the last final upgrade 612 done so that means we're a max level character our current strength can always go up higher and higher over time but for attacking walls we definitely obliterate them we're killing these ones one shot easy and these are strong walls these aren't even the baby walls that are over there but i did want to come back to this area to see if i can smash these walls again and what that looks like uh, i have a feeling it's going to be pretty easy to bust through these yeah we're going to one shot each and every one of these our strength is way too high mm, we are really really big i thought we were big before when we were like about the size of a house even the size of a door was big. Now we're like stomping these houses into dust. The houses still have a lot of health considering we have 7,000 uh, strength and we're not destroying them immediately. Most other things we are though, like the trees, the rocks, the fences. I don't really know how high our strength can go, but I bet it's probably pretty high. And we're still getting bigger. I can see it. I was watching. You can just see little edges and that's why I keep bumping into stuff because it gets so big suddenly everything's in my range. So I just need a bit of a spot to, you know, quietly get larger and then... um. I'm just going <laughs> to quietly get larger for a while. Anyone who comes in can just see the giant standing over here. Uh, I think the game might sign me out though if I'm not doing something. So I'm going to just sit here kind of attacking the house or something. So uh, if you've ever wondered what 34,000 size looks like, it's this. It's really, really, really big. And he walks really, really, really slow. But he absolutely destroys everything and he can reach just about anything from here. It's actually a little bit hard to comprehend his size because like the camera angles just can't really accommodate it. But I think I'm satisfied with this one. I made a very large, very strong man.